Right. Seems to be working. Okay. Cool and usual stuff. So, uh, yeah, hello and welcome back to Joyless Gaming and the Outer Worlds. So I'm going to go back into maybe not running quite so many space errands. Uh, it's a bit stuffy in here, so I've got the air conditioner on. I apologize if that garbles my voice any. But who wants to listen to me anyway? Connection unstable? Why is it unstable? Why is it unstable? Average stream bitrate too high. I mean, why was it too high? It should have been the same bitrate. It was just a bloody loading screen. What was your problem? And I do use the uh, video card to process the recording and streaming, so I guess that might have been it. Uh, I am carrying heaps of crap. Probably sell some stuff, but breaking down works too. break that then. Got too many armor pieces that are crap. Should I be worried about that? I don't know. Yeah, that's a bleed, that's a knockdown, that's a burn. Okay. Where am I going, Phineas? We've arrived at Phineas's orbital lab. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just stick with them. What did he scratch out to say? Oh, right, okay. Auntie Cleo's storage of the gorilla.
Are you? Right, so she, she, she's supposed to be drunk. That's why she's swaying, right? <laughs> Hello? Can you hear me? Does this work? Oh, damn it. Blast, that's loud. Huh? A, a big chunky ship or something. I'm just securing my ongoing experiments and securing myself. Okay. Don't I have some sort of thing to do here as well? This is just looking for weapons. Previous captain had it in his logs, apparently. Mind the mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since. Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. Okay, bubbles. You, I'd clap you on the shoulder if I weren't behind a wall of bulletproof glass. I don't know how you did it, but Hiram Blythe just sent me everything I needed. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Typical elitist. Hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the Hope's colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. Exciting. It yeah, was so important. If I had time in several blackboards, I could explain the details to you, but... Dimethyl sulfoxide is the reason you're alive today. The chemical is absolutely essential to reviving the Hope's colonists. I need you to steal as much as you possibly can. The more, the better. If you don't bring me enough chemicals, I might not be able to save the Hope's colonists. Okay. What's the plan? Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. We'll have to resort to subterfuge. I'm not good at that. Carmen Imagawa. She's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the docks. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. Uh, yeah, let's just go. Skill points. See, the thing I don't know is what happens if if there's a an expansion beyond a hundred once because this you do that to go up to fifty. Once something's at fifty, you start going to the individual skills. What happens when all the individual skills under a category are maxed out? Oh, 30% armor rating five seconds after a dodge. Ah, okay, so dodging definitely benefits. And this is, you know, dodge and block really seems like those are much more attuned to melee fighting, which I guess is good. How 
the perk. Bonus weak spot damage. Well, that's what happens when you do the time dilation, isn't it? So. Yes, extra, yes, extra carry capacity. <laughs> I'm not good at managing my infantry because I don't, don't quite understand how it works. Right there, All right. I need to, status effects derived stats, ability. Okay, so how... Attack, hold, power attack. Quick melee. Companion attack X, companion one special ability C and V. So are they not unlocked yet or something? What do they need to be equipped do they need to have the right weapon equipped or something? I mean have I fucked it up by not having them use their own weapon or something? Yeah, C and V. It's like they figure they're not unlocked or something. It's weird. It's annoying. Do they not unlock it unless they really like you or something? Is that, I mean, what? What? Help me out here, please. Why was I built to fail on me? <laughs> I understand we have decided to continue supporting the outlaw scientist, Dr. Phineas Wells. Yeah, do you want to talk about it? Welcome back, Captain. I forgot to grab the weapon while I was there. I have lots of minutes, many minutes, unlimited minutes, perhaps, providing an adequate power source. Okay. Tell me about Captain Holton. I Holdon. require a captain to pilot the ship. Without an identified captain or crew, as okay. you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. If you mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? Yes, he was. <laughs> Alright, I'm going back to get that weapon that is supposedly here before I go forgetting. Forgot to pick up something from wherever it was that it was... Oh, it was on Groundbreaker, that's right. Science weapons, okay. Target, point, shoot. Your target will shrink 
down into a manageable size, whereupon you may commence beating them to a pulp. Feel free to try it on a marauder sometime. Okay. Well, how about, since I don't use a gun, how about I make it my gun? Yeah. Right, now it has to go, we have to go back to the... Oh, Felix leveled up at some point. Oh, you can interact with all of them. On here, of course. Perk. Don't damage to corporate military. Is that important? Felix, your apps are surely not going to believe this. You remember that spin off series about the mass marketeer? Halcyon Helen's coming on for a special romance arc! Ah! What if they hold hands? For this, I gotta see. Thanks. Was that important? That didn't seem important. Where are we going again? Oh, we. Oh. Ah. So the story actually opens up more locations. Welcome back, Captain. How can I. Uh. I'll be here. I guess that's all just general information then. Yep, she's totally wasted. Look at that. <laughs> Do you mind? I'm meeting someone. Yeah, me. What a coincidence. Me too. I... Oh. Oh. You mean I'm supposed to be meeting you? <laughs> Why do you sound so surprised? Nothing, it's just... I thought you'd be taller. Anyway, let's not get hung up on that. The Phoenix is a wanted man and the board has eyes everywhere in Byzantium. The Phoenix? Yeah, that's my code name for... You know, our mutual friend. Mutual friend, how nice. He did a good job finding you. You'll fit right in here. <laughs> anyway, you're looking to make contact with Minister uh, Magpie, right? I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate, which is heavily guarded. Mm. 
You ready to catch him? Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home, and his guards never leave him. Can't say I blame him. It's scary out of doors. I mean, can you even count how many times we've been shot at? What work specialists, huh? Our mutual friend is really branching out. Can you get me into his estate? Whoa, I'm not one of your B&E specialists. I just provide intelligence. Birds are whatever E stands for. Birds are kind of my specialty. Code names, too. But I can give you some information. Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's house of inebriation between shifts. House of inebriation? Count me the hell in! Maybe you could do some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. It's theft, not reconnaissance. There. Thanks for the tip. Just remember, you didn't hear it from me. Who did I hear it from then? Uh, I got what to do. Right. We got intimidating looking security robots and a drunk woman on my team. Workbench? Oh, there. Later they animated her to always be just wobbling around drunk. Wow, actual sky. Something exciting happen around here for once. Nothing wrong with stability. It means everything's running like clockwork. Don't you ever want a little fun? Maybe see a marauder ship get blown to bits overhead? What a thing to say. Everyone knows marauders can't fly. Right, that's my ship there, right? That's, that's, yeah, I was just down there. Okay. By the law, look at those arms. How'd you like to show those off for millions? Huh? Kid, you got presents. Natural magnetism, know what I mean? Is that why bullets find me wherever I go? That's gold. <laughs> Next time, we'll have you say that over the rim of a tripistout. Product placement, baby. Listen, um, you got an agent? Some kind of representation? I consider myself freelance. Fresh natural talent. I know it when I see it. Listen, you got a real special quality, raw energy. I see you in pictures. Oh, movies, movies you mean, right? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the dumb option. Ha! A sense of humor, that's good. Every picture needs some comedy. I'm making a feature, Space Pirates of Moros Prime. It's gonna be a hit. But we still need a star, and I think you got the chops. Hey, if you want an action story, you ought to haul a couple of cameras to Monarch sometime. We'll give you some damn good footage. If you survive. Unscripted chaos. Come on, who'll pay to see that? Audiences want heroes and villains just like the one standing in front of me. So what do you say? You ready for the chance of a lifetime? Yeah, let's get exploited. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Terrific. We're holding auditions at the studio. Head to Odeon Pictures and take the elevator. You're going all the way to the top, baby. Fancy Creo's energizing ointment. Enjoy. Uh, I feel like doing this now. <laughs> so much wasted money here. Decadence ain't gonna save you when the beasts get through the wall. Yeah, well, you think I'd get arrested if I climbed up on that to get a look at the gearings? Probably, yeah. Oh, you mean that thing? Choice. I'm afraid I can't come down anymore. 
my good man. I'd have to request a counter waiver, and you know how dreadful the paperwork is. Don't I ever, my dear fellow. No. Ugh. Ugh. Rich stereotypes, ugh. to work. Fine, fine. What about this? Oh, my stars! It's Halcyon Helen? May I have your autograph? Now you just sound like a crazed fan, which <laughs> I suppose is not far from the truth. Vending machine? Oh, there. So, how many times uh, yeah, I feel like doing this for some reason. Something silly. I mean, it probably won't end well, but... We're not gonna do this, are we? Promise me. Do what? Be in movies. <laughs> See, that's the kind of energy I'm talking about. Real, raw, spontaneous. Give us more of that. We gave the other actors real weapons to keep things authentic. And because Josh is paying to see their logo on the big screen. Hey, what? I can work with that. See, I knew you'd get it. Yes. Now go in there, find your mark, and show us what you got. Well, well. Here to stop us at last, Captain Steel? You're too late. All of this Settlement CNP Hungry Time food pills, same nutritional value, but now with added filler, are ours. <laughs> with their patented stomach stuff <laughs> and baseline oh, vitamin content, we will be nigh unstoppable. <laughs> they managed to fit something more in something so tiny. The genius. Trying to snag my CNP endorsement? Take it easy. <laughs> Are we on camera now? Because I really don't care to be. Do you remember the last time we faced each other? The Battle of Axajax. Axajax? One another down across the void of space while flaming debris fell like rain around us. What of it? <laughs> what indeed? I had you surrounded and outgunned. But you overcame my superior numbers with tactical thinking and <laughs> <Hammersmith> <laughs> grenade launcher. I've been waiting for this, five this is a movie somehow. Last my day for vengeance has come. Again. Uh, when is that day? Exude wordless fury. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> Damn it! Don't upstage me. <laughs> What passes for entertainment around here? They ought to try tossing back a spectrum red and going rapt hunting. Someone's bound to lose an eye. It'll be a riot. Hey, no one told me we were giving critics an early look. I gotta focus, okay? <laughs> I have this whole port wired with sub micro energon transistors. Once we're away, I'll activate the gamma particulate field, and the quantiponic chain reaction will turn this whole place into vaporized plasma. Oh, can I pass that because I've got Pavati with me? <laughs> Data calibration microscope. Most of those words are made up, and the ones that are real don't work like that. I, just, I prefer the dumb option. What the fuck are you doing? Saying science word, isn't that what's happening now? <laughs> I'm supposed to say the science words, 
You're just making me look bad. I hope you've paid your burial fees and signed your personal death and dismemberment waivers because this is the end for you. Finally. Good because I still don't know what's going on. <laughs> Finally. Uh, I'm going to go dumb. Fuck. How does Maverick expect me to compete with this? I can improvise too. Safety's off, everyone. Incoming! Uh, did I actually kill them? Because that's kind of funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to loot the bodies. You closed, bat it down. Okay, I love that. Well, the stuff I could have. Finally, a hero audiences can relate to. That was pure genius. We're gonna rake in the bits and the awards with this one. Sounds like a lot of hard work. You bet it is, but that's show <laughs> business. It'll take months to get your contract lined up, but it'll be worth it. This fee is just the beginning. Stick with me, and you'll take us both to the top. Okay, what did we just do? <laughs> Burbage 3000. I'm not done stealing everything. Mind me, I'm just taking all your stuff. That was it? No, oh, I mean, I, it was funny and all, but. Actually, it turned out to be quite a bit perfunctory. And it's just. Oh well. I suppose it didn't distract too much from my main quest, but. Yeah. Is he gonna like ask me to come back at some point? There goes purple berry punch. You want a punch? We've got your punch right here. Citizens. Today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. After a deep and thorough examination of our budgets, revenue streams, and predictive models, we are publishing our yearly success report. Profits are soaring. Promotions abound. Thanks to your continued hard work, Halcyon is healthier and more productive than ever. Okay. In the coming months, Byzantium will be sure to see the many rewards reaped from your diligent labor. Once we nail down the details, I can't wait to share what's in store. For now, my friends, keep up the hard work. Out with it, you wretched contraption! Stand back, you. I'm part.
part of Minister Clark's personal detail, and that means you got to keep five feet back. Calm down. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's right here. Good thing, too, because I may be headed there soon. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. Okay. Where's this bathroom he's heading to? Have you tried our new cocktail sponsored by Rizzo's? One part purple spectrum vodka, one part artificial tomato-like substitute juice. We call it a Blue Bloody Mary. <laughs> Can you just drink it? Yeah. Then you'll want to speak with our... Aren't you the bartender? Quite so. But I would never lower myself to do something as gauche as tending bar. My automa Okay. Ask him something. Oh. It's like working here. I don't believe in work. Work is for auto mechanicals and lower classes. Does anything get done? Auto mechanicals, of course. Byzantium's fleet of mechanical servitors are programmed to simulate a labor force, but without all the unsightly workers milling about. We all have our roles in society. I like to think of myself as an entrepreneur. This drinking establishment is my investment. Maverick Johnston's about to release his new picture. From what I hear, they've <laughs> already started shooting. <laughs> Right, I guess I should just keep talking to him. He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. <laughs> yeah. That means I got a key to the minister's estate, my own personal UDL assist issued shotgun. <laughs> they don't give those out to just anyone. Congratulations. Yeah. I have nearly made it to the top, my friend. I'm just two promotions away from on the job bathroom breaks. <laughs> Buy a drink to celebrate the It's a great idea. I'll have a spectrum vodka. Captain, I can smell him from clear over here. I reckon he's had a fair number already. Sure have, because today's my big day. He's got powerful good ears, too. And a powerful thirst. You, uh, you have a Spectrum Vodka for a new pal? Do I? Uh, apparently yes. Cheers to me! <laughs> hey, you are really great. Have I told you that? We should be friends. <laughs> wow, listen to me. I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got another? Do I have another? Yes, yeah, okay. It's not every day you get your dream job, right? Wow! You've got, like, this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, like a manosaur. You got a manosaur energy. <laughs> oh, laws. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. Only two? You've got a ways to go. Have you always been here? I didn't see you a minute ago. <laughs> Let's offer another. <laughs> I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. If you say so. You're a really good friend, you know? Oh, um, he's a media 
medium <laughs> height with like medium colored medium hair. face, medium colored hair. No descriptive. Oh, you definitely recognize him if you saw him. He's very important. Do I, like, did I not have more, or do I just have to keep offering him more Spectrum Vodka? I do have another. So what is the clue from the... Okay, so just convince him to have another one. Hey. I really shouldn't... I've got one. I bet you'll like Rebecca. What's up? Uh. Please allow me to improve your drinking experience. Oh, they've got heaps of them. Ah, uh, so I sell my junk items. Yeah, you've got a lot of money now. More than I realized. I really should. So I'm assuming I actually changed my settings so that if uh, if I can't pass the thing, it shouldn't show me the dialogue check. So I, I guess I have to be able to convince him, and I don't have the appropriate skill. So the ship talks. Do all ships do that? I can't say for certain since I only ever been on this one. Ada, something special though, ain't she? Ada, what is it? She? It? I, I'm a bit fuzzy on the details. Used to be I thought she was a simulated intelligence. You know, a long series of commands telling her how to react to certain inputs. You used to. What do you think now? Well, I worked with a lot of machines, and ain't none of them like her. They can be pretty smart, but mostly they're rule books with a voice box. Ada's different. One of life's mysteries, I suppose. I don't trust it. If it crashes us into a star, I'll be a mite upset. Okay. I, I have to go about this a different way, it seems, because... Well, I have no choice. Don't have high enough whatever skill it is. Is it me, or could each of these homes fit all of Edgewater inside? Cannery and all. Your plan is to sit idly by. Oh, there. That's one right there. Can't you just see the stench of impropriety radiating off of her? For the last time, access to Byzantium is impossible without a proper nav key. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to be somewhere else. Hortense Inglesby. Hortense Inglesby. Okay. All right, so that was the back door to the place that was around the other way. Uh-huh. So I have to sneak in. Somehow.
stalking, and we're stalking. That's not working. <laughs> All oh, right. Okay. There's a ladder there, so there must be a ladder down here as well. This week. Go. I don't know. Someone up been slandering trademark product. Pretty good. I caught someone loitering outside corporate office in substandard apparel. Oh yeah. Well, I wrote two fines for littering off-brand packaging. Laws, I love this job. What is wrong with you people? Get a life. That's coming from me. Requires ID the board, huh? And I can't even pick the lock. Right, I guess I have to find another way in. Still getting used to the notion that the ladders are actually like a lock on thing you have to interact with. keep sort of expecting them to just you like you know hump the wall and you'll slide up the ladder but it's not how it works they wanted you to avoid clipping through things and stuff just falling off at random times Disguise mods, not disguises. Okay, what do I have that can make me more persuasive? Body attributes, huh? Personality. Temperament. Hmm. Personality attributes enhanced. Anything that's just like explicitly about. No. Oh. Fuck it, let's just go to the front door. Charm with the charming character that I'll play next time I play. Maybe even be sneaky. This property is off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, and uninvited visitors will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy. This ultimatum brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. I'm here. For That's Mystical. funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors, and you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. Sure, I am. And 
what is it you're delivering today? Death. <laughs> I didn't bring it with me. I'll be right back. Alright, so this is the other option. I mean, they obviously have to provide options if you... I mean, I could just fight my way in. That seems like a very bad idea, because there's a lot of guards in this area. I mean, I started off kind of bloodthirsty, but... I'm on my legally allotted break. Really, I'm supposed to be here. Oh, um, what are you doing here? Do I look like I want to explain myself? Laws, I knew it! Uh, you got me. I'm caught, aren't I? Yeah, you're in big trouble now. Why didn't you tell me what you did? I work in the lab at the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. Some of my sprats went missing, but it's not my fault, okay? Maybe I let them out more often than regulations allow, but they need to stretch their little legs. And so what if I occasionally forgot to latch their cage? Everyone gets a little distracted now and then. You're really not helping your case. <laughs> they escaped, and before I could coax them back, they'd made their way to the maintenance tunnels. Oh, this is Even a... if I did dare go down there, they're among all the common sewer sprats and exterminator mechanicals. Yeah, good luck with that. I don't care. I don't want to do that. Wait. Oh, all right. Uh, what? Uh, nothing exciting ever happens around here. Got my sights on you. Do you indeed? Um, oh my, it's looking like I'll have to, um, Burning the midnight oil, are we? Uh, welcome to Halcyon Parcels. We do, in fact, have a parcel here for a Mr. Clark, comma, minister. You are not an official member of the Halcyon Par How do I do that? Oh, I'd have to submit a request for a release form, and then wait for a re How long does that usually take? Couldn't say. We've got a backlog, and I'm planning on retiring in the next 35 years, but I could give my successor a memo on your behalf. Oh, wonderful. Are you kidding me? You're welcome to lodge a complaint in our suggestion box. Actually, no. We're still waiting on our delivery of a new suggestion box. Get it. Excellent. I'll mark that down as... Right. I don't have the hacking skill. All right. You know what this calls for? Killing everyone. This is just the way it has to be. Actually, maybe I can avoid killing everyone and I can just go and kill that guard that's up here. If I just kill that one. Maybe you'll have something that can open the door. Or a disguise of some sort. How could my reputation decrease? Nobody saw that.
Oh, damn it. Get in there. What did Stellar Base Engineer name your candy machine? I don't rightly know. That have been Guster, I think. I'd ask him, but he fell in the machine once, so could call it Guster's demise or the Guster Crusher. Oh, that's got a ring to it. Forget I asked. Ah, oh dear. Okay. Guess it's kill everyone. There's nothing to see here. Plasma damage for a perk point. Fine, whatever. Dialogue skills. <laughs> that could be helpful in my current situation. Now I'm going to focus on not having dialogue skills in this with this character. Extra damage, why not? How's my reputation going down? These these are not being witnessed by anyone except my friends. So if I'd managed to find an ID. Then I could have been sneaking around here with the uh, holographic doohickey. But I don't know how to necessarily find those. What? Nothing. Oh, 
Aren't you going to turn around? This person turned around. Now off put. Guess they don't really care all that much about their um Nothing. Mom? Huh? What was that? Something's not right. Here we go. Uh, 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 Here we go. Got a lot of armor now. Well, I guess, yeah. How did you get in here? You! You just slaughtered those guards, and for what? To speak with me? What could possibly be so urgent? Oh, my law. Captain, Captain, that's the minister. Mr. Clark. Oh, wow. If this is about another aether wave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off, as the parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. Seems like we're getting off on the wrong foot. Have I not made myself clear? Slowly and loudly, Aloysius, that's the only way these morons understand anything. I said, you may tell Charles to go fuck himself. Who is Charles and why are we yelling? Chairman Rock! Oh. Oh. Terribly sorry. I thought you were part of Rockwell's PR team. But if you're not, that means you're a dissident? A real, live dissident? Well, I just killed a bunch of your guards. What are you doing here? And how did you get in? I killed the guards. Uh, this stuff, yeah. Drugs, of course. What else? Why did I get my hopes up? Back to idiot speak. I don't have any drugs. He's got no idea what we're asking about. Will that be... Why do you keep talking like that? <laughs> but yeah, if the, 
they're not drugs, they're chemicals. And you've been ordering them, who has? Process of elimination. The only other person with access? Of course, of course. It's Rockwell again, who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. Oh, that's why he's amenable. These guards were actually imprisoning him. Ah. Yeah. You are a quick study, indeed. I've long suspected Rockwell of transacting business in my name. But this proves it. You've been all alone in this house? Yeah, he's had guards. Would, would you like me to make you tea? Please. This is important. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. <laughs> I like I'm going to trust a gibbering lunatic. <laughs> Why would you go through all of this trouble? How should I know? I've been under house arrest for years. But there is a way to find out, and perhaps to set things right. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. This all feels off, Captain. Like when there's a storm coming, but everything's quiet and still. Believe me, things have been off around here for a very, very long time. A reckoning is most certainly due. This colony's problems have always seemed to trickle down from the top. If we're set on fixing Halcyon, that's as good a place as any to start. Exactly. And fix it we must. Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. <laughs> HHC. Halcyon Holdings Corporation, the collective of companies that run the colony together. Allegedly in partnership with the Earth Directorate and appointed Minister of Earth. How do I get there? Via the Acropolis District, of course. That's where the most important corporate and government facilities are. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. Mm. I prefer a quiet approach. That's not really true, but... Anyway, once I get there, then what? When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. Okay. Wait! Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Please, take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. All right, fine. Good. <laughs> right, okay, so this is a... Hmm. Well, that was a bit of a turn. Must be to go down that way. What's out this way? Oh, you can, like there is, this is a way out though, not a way in. Ah. Ah. It's a way out, not a way in. What a shame. Ow. Right there. 
Can't you just see the stench no, of the shut up. radiating off of her? What was that? Incoming captain, turn up now! Oh damn it. All oh, right. Okay, that's helping her. What? Well, that went a bit wrong. How did they... Yeah, I know, I'm hurt. Well, as murderous rampages go, <laughs> oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh, 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 oh.
gone quiet. <laughs> it's like that solved the problem. Uh, right. You guys need better armor. She's normally focused on stealth skills. Well, sorry. Hopefully they die less, being in better armor. Well, this could be going better. That's, that's the most accurate way to put it right now. This could be going better.
you could dismantle a single room of this place, sell the materials, and feed everyone on Monarch for a month. That's the main theme being played on that. The theme that you hear when you're in the title menu. Cover the basics. Halcyon is on the brink of starvation. Scientists are working a solution. Workers can look for a lifetime employment program. Great. Right. See the current version when you print the key card for the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale in the US. Dimethyl solar dioxide has been. Okay. Chairman Rockwell, and I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. But we're doing it together. And that's what matters. I fucking swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. Well, I've seen to that. But I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. With robots doing work. You idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this! While Halcyon's brightest minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. There's already a whole bunch of people Individuals in suspended animation. will be revived on a rotating basis, so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. And someday, in the not too distant future, when we've solved this crisis, we'll all be back together again, working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, take your vitamins, follow your corporate mandated grooming rituals, and rest assured with the board on your side. There is nothing to worry about. Yeah. I can see that. That was all a story, wasn't it? It's not real. Guess the whole colony's up a creek. I thought it was just Monarch. Right. Three and nine months. Right. All right, so Byzantium. Right. 
this place is the one that's actually suffering. The rich people are the ones that suffer, uh, suffering, which is good. Dodging melee attacks. So yeah, dodging really is good for melee, isn't it? Because you get... Yeah, recovery speed faster, but then you get armor rating, melee attack damage, and then weak spot damage. <laughs> double armor rate or, or double skill bonus and increase armor rate. Carrying capacity. Now I've I've already seen to that. Ah, okay. Headshot kills explode. Huh. Ooh, returned as healing. Me melee damage as healing. Yeah, that sounds great. I mean, it's only 15%, but it's damages health. Hello everyone, do not panic, everything is fine. Oh, Burbage 3000. He was in Titus Androidicus. And then he was dead. I found him because it was the... Okay. Guess we're doing this.
Right? When I when I play this game again with a different character, I'm going to be so skilled. Yes, civilians, could you could you evacuate please? Don't don't I mean you don't don't really want you to go back to work. This isn't actually directing me anywhere. I guess I just have to look around until I find it. hear about you ordering more tests performed with sample 4157? That batch failed spectacularly. I saw a variance in the results that we never accounted for, so I had the techs run the trial again. And the results were 0.003% different this time. Do the words statistically insignificant mean anything to you? Of course, but we're obligated to explore every possibility. We're obligated to get a working formula before Akande has us all in tanks to help test the next batch of samples. Now get to work. <laughs> oh, those circles are your companions. 
Bard, you say? Excellent. Okay. Something's not... Lawbreaker! No visitors allowed, citizen. I'm gonna need to see some identification. Uh... Okay, it's showing me that, and... I'm assuming that means I will pass? Sure. I've heard that one before. Doubt it, because this went the... catch you again without your ID. Okay? I managed to pass that one. That's nice. It resets the thing. Okay. Alright, that's what the, the dot thing's next to it. Okay. You have to succeed, but if you do, you've only got a few chances at it anyway. Looks like there's no one in here. Okay. New testing requires a new product, process, whatever. So flux out of the current round of testing improvements, which is showing improved circulation, increased neural activity. Still able to fully revive subjects from long-term hibernation, removing a supply of the method that results in a rather excruciating death. Right, okay, so this is the key, like, you can kill these test subjects to get more, is essentially what it's saying. Results in conclusive prognosis, cautiously optimistic. Uh, okay, well, I'll just be evil and take it all. These are the test subjects. Oh. 
I mean, I'm already a monster. When indentured servants are freed, anarchy soon follows. Right, nice and alarmist of you. Is it supposed to be all red like that? Oh, okay. Maybe I should fast travel. Okay, I mean... emotional capacity. You have a message from adjutant Sophia Akande. No one ever looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. And my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. You've had quite a career. I mean stumbling around the colony pretending to know what I'm doing. <laughs> I think you're being modest. I've been keeping up with you ever since Emerald Vale. Now that was an interesting piece of work. A rundown backwater, barely worth the ink on a map. Until you showed up. When you cut off power to Edgewater, you saved me a great deal of trouble. Now I don't have to bother trying to save that town. All this happened because some mysterious stranger fell out of the sky. Really? Who? Frankly, I'm amazed you've managed to get as far as you have without accidentally eating something poisonous. You should be back on the hope frozen in a hibernation chamber. Yet here you are, flying about in a stolen ship, leaving a trail of paperwork in your way. That's why you're gonna lose. The board doesn't know what to make of you. But I do. I've seen your potential. Mm, what There's else? so much we can do for this colony. Yeah, how do you know I'm from the Hope? We raised security on the Hope after Wells broke in. As for discovering the identity of the missing colonist, all we had to do was scan the passenger manifest. You didn't bring me this, just flat me. You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. You people need better security. <laughs> yes, I'm aware that you stole a batch of precious chemicals and destroyed an important experiment. Enterprising of you, if irritating. My scientists tell me they'll restore the damage you've done within a matter of months. But I'm not here to talk about minor setbacks. Phineas Wells is wanted by the board. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. Say no more, I mean, not like that. Dumb answer is the answer is no, get her off my ship. <laughs> yeah, dumb. I'm not on your ship. This is a transmission. Adjutant Akande's call has been terminated. <laughs> Will there be anything else, Captain? Let's get out of here. So, Phineas. Orbital lab. If you don't mind my saying, Captain, Minister Clark is 
lucky to have you on his side. Is he? Okay. Carrying a lot of crap here. Um... Okay, um, yeah, let's clear some inventory. Right, I kind of went about this a terrible way, and I'm gonna have to live with that. Phineas. I've kept myself busy in your absence, optimized my formula. I'm now confident I can revive the remaining colonists. All I need now is the dimethyl sulfoxide. I'll take as much as you can give me. Found them in the ministry. The board was testing on human subjects. Aren't you kind of doing the same thing on me, though? I put them out of their misery. Thank you. You've brought me enough chemicals to get started, at least. I'm just sorry they came at the cost of human lives. Those poor people, they must have died in agony. What exactly was the board trying to accomplish? Something about repeatedly melting frozen people. There are a lot of big words. What nonsense! People aren't just slabs of meat the board can freeze and thaw at their convenience. I'll tell you this much. The board scientists are hopelessly lost. After years of fruitless experimentation, they've made exactly zero progress. I used to work for these people. I'm intimately familiar with the utter incompetence of the board's own scientists. Colony's on the verge of collapse, huh? I know! I've suspected as much for years. Of course, I don't expect the board to do a thing about it. They've been driving our colony to the brink of destruction for decades. The board's mismanagement put our colony on the road to collapse. If we don't put a stop to them, thousands of colonists are going to die. Chairman's planning on freezing every worker now. Yeah. Hold on. Let me see if I understand this correctly. You're saying that Halcyon's on the brink of collapse, and the Chairman's plan to save all of us is to save himself? I always knew Halcyon was heading toward a system's collapse, but I never imagined we were already there. The board made this crisis, and now they want to 
to solve it by freezing the rest of us? That's not a plan. That's a goddamn escape clause. Mm. Do you realize what this means for the Hope? For your fellow colonists? The board's going to kill them all. Toss them out into space just to make room in their hibernation chambers. Be glad to put it behind me as soon as I get a chance. What makes you think you'll get that chance? You'll be long dead before you make it to the nearest star. For better or worse, you're stuck with us here. Do you know what's waiting for us on the Hope? Scientists, engineers, artists, the brightest minds Earth ever sent us, uncorrupted by the board. The board's going to dispose of them all and transform the Hope into a prison for the rest of us. They're likely on their way to the Hope as we speak. We need to get to those colonists before the board. I have enough chemicals to start reviving a few of them, but no easy way to get them off the Hope. It'd be a lot easier to set up your lab next to the Hope. That's going to give him an idea. Merciful gibbering law, you're a genius! <laughs> This is crazy, I like it. Alright, we'll be through this. This is crazy, I like it. Just wait until you hear the details. I haven't been this energized since the time I injected myself with raw cathanoid. <laughs> if we link up the hope to the unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector, we can skip the entire colony ship into the rings of Terra 2. I don't know much about skip drives, not the physics anyhow. I do know the Hope's real massive. How's our bitty little ship supposed to skip it? Excellent question, my sharp-witted mechanic. You will use your own ship to power up the Hope's skip drive. Your navigational computer can handle the rest. You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope's skip drive. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. Alright, I'll do it. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers. Scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. There's some reason why you're hiding behind bulletproof glass. Oh, yeah, okay. I've no desire to end up like Thompson. Who? Regardless, it's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. Alright, I'll be back. <laughs> she, hey, she looks so... <laughs> Just look at her, she's like, uh... No, Pavati's all... Bright-eyed, bushy-tailed. Yoka's just like, yeah. <laughs> right. Skill points. Let's see what happens once I've got both my defense skills maxed out, and if there's some sort of change. Because I don't know exactly how far the game takes things mechanically. And I probably won't find out much on this playthrough. This is probably going to be just a... Mostly a story run. And once I've got the gist of the main story... And I've done it in the most horrifically violent way possible... Then I will... Play it again and be a lot more thorough just, and just explore all of the side missions and clear out locations, find everything. 
level up a lot more, be more intent on uh, dialogue choices, you know, focus on combat later so that I can level up other skills first, because you've got... I wouldn't be using melee at all. I'd be using ranged and probably just handguns. I'd be like a smooth-talking gunslinger or something. Uh, location hit effects, critical damage, armor penetration, debuffed. Critical hits ignore armor. The other thing I could do is like play like a sniper or something, but... But then it'd be, it'd be like, considering that dodge and block are basically tied to melee, um, not ranged stuff, probably won't be using defense. It'd be like ranged, which would just be handguns. Unless, of course, there is a thing for leveling up all of the skills and then you get big bonuses or something. I don't know. But yeah, dialogue, probably persuade and lie rather than intimidate. Um, because, yeah, charming. Leadership, inspiration, determination. Improve your weapons and armor in the workbench with 20 science. So obviously that's just about improving weapons in some whatever fashion and nothing to do with mods that's tinkering, not, not mods that you apply. But yeah, they have, you know, these other things. So block, okay, block is a passive thing, extra armor rating when using a melee weapon. Yeah, yeah, it's tied to melee. Dodge distance, harmful status effect duration. Medical is healing buff. Duration on the healing. Science, oh, okay. Increases your sciencey damage. Oh, okay. The, the bonus stuff, why is the... The bonus stuff for the other skills is displayed under the description. This one displays it under the stuff. Oh, no, these are support. These are from other things. Yeah, plus 10, plus 10, making it... 35 instead of 15. That's just breaking down. Oh yeah, okay. Repair weapons and armor in the inventory. Oh, okay, field repair. Right. That's that's gotta be helpful, I suppose. Stealth. I suppose I would probably want to use stealth, wouldn't I? Okay. Hmm. Anyway, yeah. That is for next playthrough. Otherwise, we have another mission to go to. So, I'm going to call it a night there. And uh, get back to that next time, whenever that is. Um, otherwise, I mean, I've not had anybody watching, but I'll see everybody next time, whenever, for whatever. Bye for now.